guys welcome again to today's video on maven space challenge series so the last time we looked at the description of the challenge and then of course we also tried to import our data did just very minimal transformation and then we are here in power bi data view so let me just come over to data view but as we can see we have the data here what we're going to do today is first i'm going to start creating my measures uh, but as i always recommend i always like to have a measures table um, a dedicated table for just measures and this kind of give me a very good organization on uh, with my measures so i'm just going to create one so i'll just come over to enter data in my home view and then here i'm just going to give it a name i could like call it measures table right so we don't need to do anything just click on load we 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 did this in in our last series so here we have the measures table so inside of this table is where i'll be creating all the measures that i will need right so let's come to data and then we can try to see some measures that we need of course uh, we are talking about the missions right the number of missions that was launched each year don't forget the theme of our report is 2021 was a huge year for space exploration could 2022 be bigger right so definitely we need missions count that's for sure so i will just go ahead to create my first measure and that will be the number of missions right so i just right click on this here then create new measure and then i i'm going to have you could give it any name so i'm going to call my missions count and then that will be count of the name will be missions so you could like use the mission colon of course if you count any colon i believe it will give you the same thing as far as missions count is concerned so here let's just try to see i'm going to bring that in so just change it to text box here so we can see that we have a 4630 so one thing I like to do, so let's just call this page um, uh, review, whatever name you could give it, right? So this is like a, a, a separate page where I just like create a, a lot of measures that I need. And then I'm going to create a separate page for the main report. So the next thing we're going to do now is to count the number of companies, because if we check in our data, you can see that we have companies that are responsible for each of the mission so it will be nice to see the count of the company so in order to do that again i'm just going to right click and create a new measure and then i'm going to call it company count and then that's going to be now we are not counting all so we just want to do distinct count because we will have a company having more than one launch per year right so it's, it's only right for us to do distinct count otherwise it would just be like we are counting the number of missions so you could try it you could try to do count a of the company and then you're going to see the result that you just have exactly the same thing as the missions count so what we want to do is distance count of the company right so i'm just going to enter that i'm going to try to bring that here as a card so we can see we have 62 companies that have you know be responsible for all the missions that we've had since 1957 that's interesting so i will just go over create a new page now and i can call it report you know just because i didn't have to create a lot of pages this time <laughs> okay so let's just start to see how things play out with our measures so before i do that i need to like change this page so i actually change the size of my page i get asked this a lot of times how do you get to like have a lot of things on your page so um, you can actually change the size of your page how do you do that you just click on the report canvas anywhere blank and then come over to this hand format your report page and then you come to canvas settings and there you can like change it because this is the default 16 by 9 you can change it to custom and then you can give it a height as you want so i think for this report i actually used one five as my height so you can see how small that became and then my width i think i used one two i don't know i'm not, I'm not sure I, I remember but yeah i think let's just try that for now so i'm just going to like zoom this in so that we can see it better okay so now i'm going to bring in my year because i'm interested in the year of course so um i can just, let me see how it looks like in a table of course it's coming as a sum so i'm just going to change that to 
um, don't summarize so that I can see all my years and also I can just place it by the side the number of missions right so interesting so we can see that the first year we had just three long missions and then you know over time it increased increased and then it reduced again right so I, I actually don't know why but we could see that in the 60s we have quite a lot of them right and then all of a sudden we went we maintained that level and then it's you know reduced again again reduced and then we're having an increase since 2018 so really nice to see but it could be well better explained with a visual of course right so that's i'm just going to change this from a table to again like a line chart because line chart is highly recommended for time series kind of data so once i use a line chart now we can see properly just as we were looking at earlier from 1967 we had an increase increase a lot in this decade and then a sudden decrease here in the 70s towards the entering into the 80s and then it maintained that decrease for a long time it even went further and then now from 2015 it began to like come up again and we have the record number last in 2021 right so which is interesting and then we have in 2022 as well okay so that's the first thing i i want to draw out so we could do the same thing for the companies so i could just literally create another new table or duplicate this right so let me just duplicate this so i'm just going to hit ctrl c and then ctrl v i'm just showing that so you know that that also works in power bi so i'm going to take off here you can see our x-axis is the year and then our y-axis is the missions count so i'm going to take off that y-axis which is the missions count and then i'm going to add company count so once i had company count you can see the chart definitely looks different here we can see you know we can see our year like 1950 you can see the increase in the companies over time that's a bit consistent than the emissions count that's interesting to see so um let me change this again sorry we're gonna change it to year 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 view okay let me just leave it as year so everything we'll be doing on this page will be about the year and then probably do for the company as well somewhere else and then we will try to like add up everything together okay so the next thing we're going to do now is to bring another visual now i want to check the decade so I'm going to bring in a table, of course, and then the mission count. So just to investigate how the missions have changed over the decade. So we can see, just as we saw very briefly here, we could see that um, the 70s recorded a very high number of missions and, and so on. So I'm, I'm just going to change this to a colon chart so we can see that, of course, the 1970s um, have the highest. So I'm just going to sort this by the decade, okay, so that we can have like the smallest come first and go in ascending order so 1950s 60s 70s and so on so this makes sense so let's look at company as well so if i go to company we can see all the companies that we have here um okay let me create a new page for that just call it company okay so i'm just going to grab this from here cut it and then i'm going to paste it here so once I do that, I can bring in my missions count as well. So we can see for each company, uh, let's try to sort it in um, descending. We can see RVSN, USSR, like as the highest number of missions and, and so on. So which is like really quite a number of um, companies. So we can leave this as a bar chart if we want, you know, where we have all the missions and like you could do top 10, for instance. I didn't do it, but I'm just saying so instead of because this, are, this doesn't really um makes sense so we could like do top 10 or top 15 as you want so let me just show you in case you don't know how to do that so now that we have this i could just um add filter to this visual um i'm just going to add the company or i don't need to add just come to company and then change it from basic filtering to top 10 so you want to filter the top 10 so let's say we're looking at the top 10 by the missions count so i'm going to drag in missions count to that place and click on apply so here we'll just see the top 10 so we won't see every other thing that is there so this is for the company i'm just going to leave it there now um let's go a bit deeper into analytics when i actually visualize this of course i can't recollect all the moments but i know that looking at this you can see that number of missions reduced from here for a long time and then it began to increase However, you would see that the number of companies kept increasing, even in the time where we had the missions reducing. So I kind of felt 
or that shouldn't be the case right so since we are having more companies you would expect that we should have more missions right so that kind of like made me to question that and like i wanted to see the correlation right so correlation is a very important um, metrics in, in analytics and statistics so you want to see how related two variables are so I went ahead to check the correlation between my missions and um, the company. You could read up on the correlation, but it's usually between minus one and one. So uh, the closer it is to one, the more correlated the two variables are. And then the closer it is to minus one, the more uncorrelated that um, they are. And then it's like it's zero, then it's like a neutral thing. So you could read up on, on that. So how do you do that here in Power BI? You could come over to the quick measure then you would select a calculation. So we have quite a number of calculations here, average, variance, and so on and so forth. Year to date total for time intelligence, if you don't want to write the tax and all of that. So what I need is the correlation coefficient, right? So once I click on correlation coefficient, it asks me for the X value and it asks me for the Y value. So my X value here can be my number of companies so my x value here my major x here could be like the number of companies i could drag that here and then my major y is the mission count so i'm just going to drag that here and then i want to look at these over time right so over year so uh, my field will be the year okay so i click on this so once that is done power bi automatically generates this query for me so which is like helps to calculate the correlation coefficient so all i need to do is just click on enter if you want you could like investigate it to see you know maybe you want to recreate by yourself next time but for me i'll just leave that and then here it is so it has been created for us it's between these two uh, this is just the company count that we did and then this is company count and missions count correlation for year. so first i can try to rename that so that i don't get confused so i can just change it to correlation coefficient and so once that is done, I can bring in my correlation coefficient, which is here, and then I can change it to a, a number. So we can see it's 0 0.26. So that's the correlation. And just like I explained, the closer it is to 1, it is more correlated. The closer it is to minus 1, it is uncorrelated. And then the closer it is to 0, that's like neutral. So which exactly explains what is going on here. And that's the fact that these two variables are not correlated. So it doesn't matter if the number of companies are increasing. It doesn't mean that the number of emissions will increase. This is what uh, it means. So you could also visualize that um, with a scatter plot, which is a, a better way of seeing this value play out. So I'm just going to, let me just reduce this. So I'm just going to like bring in a scatter chart. So this is a scatter chart. So I'm going to bring it over here. And then we can see all the things that we need. So we need the X axis, we need the Y axis. So my X axis, I could bring in the company count as my X axis. And my Y axis, I could bring in the missions count. And then it doesn't really make sense here because it's just like giving us a plot. So we want to look at it across year, right? So I mean, each year I want to see how this the distribution has been over time so i will just bring in my year as my values and then i can see that this is the spread so in statistics there's what we call regression line we could actually bring that in as well just to see you know how close they are to the line i mean the values that you you have so i don't want to go in deeper into that so i'll just show you how you can do that in power bi so i just click on this chart and then come over to add further analysis to your visual and then i'm going to trend line okay so once i add the trend line you can see that it comes here right so of course you could like format this we'll still come back to formatting uh, but this is how you can create a scatter plot and here you can easily see that there is little or no relationship between the company and the mission count so let me just bring you uh back quickly to the whole idea of our analysis which is to like check if 2022 could beat 2021 in terms of the number of missions considering the rate at which um, the number of missions were coming in 2022 as at the time of this analysis i really would want to express that better officially because here yeah this gives us distribution over time and all of that but it would be nice to really see current state so talking about the number of missions we have so far this year and the number of missions we had last year to see if we can still meet up i know this looks straightforward because it's already done right but there are really a lot of thoughts that went with this right so i'm just showing you how 
I did a visual. It's not this easy. So I don't want you to feel intimidated that, oh, I, you know, it actually took some time. So don't worry, days, not just time. I mean, days um, before you could come up with something like this. So I think I would end this video here. And then in the next one, we are going to look at comparing 2022 and 2021 to see where we are headed for 2022. Thank you and see you next time.